Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be reacting to BTS members to serve mandatory South Korean military duty. Okay, so um, I live in Korea, and if you have Korean friends, you already know that the guys have to go to the military, and yeah, they don't like it, but they have to do it, and um, there are different parts, different things that you can do in the military. Like, I just met someone, he said that his service is longer, but he's able to go home at the end of the day. So, like, I guess, depending on what you do in the military, you stay on the military base, or you can uh, serve longer and not stay on the base, but able to do, like, go home every night or something. I don't know all the details, but, yeah, there are different sections of the military that you do, and your time spent there may be different. And, um, yeah, so before... I heard that they were talking about exempting them from the military because if in Korea, if you go or if you're a part in the part of the Olympics, you're kind of serving the country already in um, you like representing the country. So if you go to the Olympics or you are a member, what is the right word? <laughs> if you are a part of the Olympics, participate in the Olympics then you don't have to do military service. So I guess that's what people were trying to um, say about BTS. Like, they're, like, probably the most popular group, and they're, like, representing Korea in a positive way, spreading the music and the culture, whatever. So I think that's what I heard about before, about them trying to get exempt from the military service. But I guess it didn't work. But, um... Yeah, they'll be fine. Um, also, because they're celebrities, I think celebrities get special treatment. Even in America, celebrities get special treatment. And um, in Korea, it's the same thing. So I'm pretty sure they'll do the military service and everything will be fine. Um, I think it's better if they all go at the same time so that they can come out at the same time. Unless they want to do solo stuff and everyone goes at different times. But um yeah, I don't know. I guess we're going to find out more details in this video. But, um, yeah, it's mandatory, but I guess they have to do it. But people, like my friends that went to the military, they really don't like it. They just can't wait to get out and get this part of their life over with. But um, anyway, let's get this video started. Please subscribe. Let me know what else I should react to in the comments below. And let's go. Worldwide sensation BTS trending big overnight. Due to some breaking news about the band, Chris Conley has the latest on the K-pop group now planning to take time for military service. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning to you, Robin. And you really do have to go back to Elvis Presley to think of a pop music act of this magnitude putting on the brakes and entering the military at the absolute peak of their popularity. But that's what the seven members of BTS plan to do, putting the group out of action until 2025. Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted, but um, I don't know, because I know that some K-pop artists, they have been to the military and they came back, but do they not, like, um, prepare music and, like, videos before, like, that could be released while they are in the military service, like, during this time? Like, they know, like, the fans know that they're going to be away for some time. So I wonder if they're going to, like, prepare, like, music and videos to be released while they're away. But I don't know. But that will be interesting to do if they did that. And I hope I don't get copyrighted for this song. But uh, we all know this song. This morning, millions of BTS fans around the world feeling anything but dynamite. Okay, I'm going to try to talk over the music. I don't want to get copyrighted. K-pop superstar Septet looking at a likely hiatus until 2025. Oh, I love this chorus. Because the guys in the group must complete their mandatory <coughs> South Korean military service. First up, Chin. At 29, the band's eldest member. He'll be called for duty at the end of the month. Military service is compulsory in South Korea. Men required to serve in the army for 18 months by the time they're 28. Chin able to defer thanks to a government bill that allows pop stars to defer until the age of 30. The band's record label said. See, like I said, um, 
celebrities get special treatment. So he was able to push this back until 29 or until until now. But um, they were showing pictures of the military, but it really depends on which part of the military they enter. Like I said, my friend, he, I met this new person like two days ago and he is 22. He's about to go to the military, but he's going to serve a longer sentence, not a sentence. <laughs> I'm talking like he's going to prison. Um, he's going to ser- serve a longer duty because he's not doing the actual um, like military training, I guess you would say. I don't know how to reword that, but he's able to go home like every night. That's what he said. Saying BTS wants to respect the needs of the country, adding the time is now. After Chin, other members of the group plan to carry out their military service based on their own individual plans. <laughs> BTS, the world's best-selling recording act for the last two years, shocked their legions of fans in June when they announced a break to focus on solo projects. Okay, so that's good. Like when they go to the serve uh, to serve their military service, then the other members can do solo stuff while like. The other members are in the military service, so like the fans aren't just waiting for the whole group to come back. On October 15th, they reunited for this sold-out free concert in Busan, South Korea. Their latest single yet to come, promising even better days ahead. Uh-oh, don't copyright my video, please. <laughs> I'm going to talk over this. To okay. GMA, they told us keeping a positive outlook is the key to their success. It's about finding, finding little joy in love and being curious about <coughs> the little things. Now, fans um, will be eagerly okay. awaiting their return as by 2025, BTS hopes once again to be shining through the city with a little funk and soul. Yeah, but the fans, they have a really strong fan base, so they'll be waiting. And even in our here today, gone later today pop culture. I feel like when they come back in 2025, like it's going to be maybe the biggest comeback ever for a K-pop group. But um, if you're a true fan, you can wait and you can listen to the music uh, while you wait and um, they'll be fine. I have friends that went and came back. They're fine. These guys are game changers, so you can expect BTS to sustain that fan loyalty and devotion during their two-year hiatus, and that comeback, Robin, could be massive. Uh, they do have a... Well, I just said that. <laughs> ...faithful following. Chris, thank you so much. Every time that they are here, yeah, they're so kind, they're yeah. so generous, and boy, the BTS army, as their fans are known, wow. They, they come out. They, they do. Up, and they're huh? as positive as the band. You're absolutely right. The oh. I'm guessing they're talking about the BTS army that they meet in person when they perform at the show. But I'm pretty sure um, there are some toxic fans. Like every fan base has toxic fans. So um, followers. Those have been some of the most fun mornings here mm-hmm. to see those crowds out here. Yeah. Uh, all right, Chris, thank you. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, yeah. So it's mandatory in Korea for men to go to the military service, but depends on which section that they go to. Depends how long they stay. And um, they're celebrities, so they'll get special treatment. And yeah, they'll be fine either way. Even if they weren't celebrities, they'll be fine. Um, I have friends that went and came back. And they're happy that they finished because um, it's just like two years that they don't want to do, but they have to do. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know what else I should react to in the comments below. And if you want to see my experiences in Korea, you can check out my first channel, Sexy V. And if you want to see what I do outside of YouTube, you can check out my Instagram and my TikTok. Both are Sexy V. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.